Howdy folks, Josh here with Weekend Angler. Got another short tip Saturday video for you guys today. I'm going to be walking you through step by step on how to tie two of my favorite catfishing rigs. That's the Carolina rig and the Sandy Cooper rig. So let's get started. Alright folks, very quickly let's go over the materials we're going to be using in today's video. I've got the main line here. This is 65 pound braid. I've just rolled a little bit off the spool. I have a circle hook, a barrel swivel, a slotted peg float, my leader line which is 30 pound monofilament, and I have two different types of sinkers. One is a no roll and the other is a river sinker and I've got a sinker slide for using that river sinker. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off by getting preparing our leader line with our hook and uh, we'll be using a snell knot on this. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on tying the snell knot. I have another video on that that I will link in the comments section. Trim that tag end. All right. Obviously, guys, I would use normally a much longer leader than this, but this is going to make the video easier. I'm going to attach our barrel swivel. We'll use a improved clinch knot for that. And trim the tag end. As you can see, our leader is now prepared. We're ready to work with the main line. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put both of these sinkers on the same main line just to show you how both of these would work. If you're using something like a river sinker or anything with a eye on it, usually you'd want to use a sinker slide. And what that is is just a removable clip with a little plastic eye through it and all you would do is pass the main line through that eye and you'd tie that off to the other end of the barrel swivel. If you're using a no roll sinker, egg sinker, something like that, they usually have a hole all the way through them. You just poke your main line through there and once again, whichever sinker choice now, whichever sinker choice you make, once you're ready, you take, tie that off. Now, guys, you could use a Palomar knot on these. You could use a clinch knot like I did. Just use whatever you're comfortable with and what you've got confidence in. All right, guys, now that we have our Carolina rig done, Let's say we're fishing in a very snaggy area and you would like to keep the bait up off the bottom. You can turn a everyday Carolina rig into a Santee Cooper rig with the addition of one slotted peg float. This one's a cigar float. They make all different kinds. They all work. We're just going to snap that in there. pegs in to keep it in place. We'll put that two or three inches in front of the hook. And now you have a Sandy Cooper rig. If you were to cast that out, the peg float would bring that up, bring your bait up, and keep all that off the bottom. Alright guys, there you have it. Very simple rigs to tie, but also very versatile rigs. You can use those dragging, you can use them anchored, you can use them suspending, just about any technique, all by varying the amount of weight that you put on your main line. Uh, guys, for leader length, in the video I used a very short leader. In reality, I usually use anywhere from 12 to 24 inches, probably average about an 18 inch leader whenever I'm fishing with one of these rigs. 
Uh, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. If you have any questions about this type of rig, leave them down in the comment section below. Guys, we've got a lot of these Short Tip Saturday videos coming out. I hope you guys are enjoying them. And until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching The Weekend Angler.